In this video, we'll be looking at consecutive integer word problems. If your word problem deals with just consecutive integers, for example, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so forth, then you'll use the variable expressions x, x plus 1, x plus 2, and so forth, because you're just going to want to add 1 to each number to get to the next one. If your problem deals with either consecutive even integers or consecutive odd integers, so if you're dealing with numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so forth, or 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so forth, then you're going to want to add 2 to get to the next even or to get to the next odd. You'll always start with x as your first integer and then add 2 to that to get your next even or your next odd integer. Add 2 to this one to get to the next one and so forth. Let's do a problem. Zach found four consecutive odd integers such that five times the sum of the first and the third was 22 greater than the product of 8 and the sum of the second and the fourth. What were the integers? Right. The first thing that we notice is that we need consecutive odd integers. So let's set up our expressions that we're going to use when we translate. x is going to always equal the first. And since we're talking about odd integers, I need to add 2. So x plus 2 is going to be my second. Add 2 more onto this. x plus 4 will be my third. And add 2 more onto this. x plus 6 will be my fourth. So these are the expressions that I'm going to use when I translate this word problem into algebra. Okay, we're going to start right here. 5 times the sum. So I need 5 times the sum of two things. The first, which is x, and the third which is x plus 4. Then was, that's our verb, so that's where the equals goes. 22 greater means we're going to be adding 22 onto something. The product of 8 and something. So product means multiply. We're multiplying 8 and something. So the product of 8 and the sum of, so I need to add two things together to get my sum. The sum is of the second and the fourth. So the second is represented by x plus 2. And the fourth is represented by x plus 6. Now we've translated our the word problem into an algebraic equation. Uh, now we just need to work it out. Let's combine terms on the left side here inside the parentheses. So I have 5 times the quantity x plus x is 2x, and then just copy plus 4, close up my parentheses, equals 8 times the quantity. Um, here I'm going to combine x plus x is 2x, and 2 plus 6 is 8. And then just copy the rest of the equation plus 22. And now let's distribute. Um, 5 times 2x is 10x. 
5 times 4 is 20. On the right side, I'll distribute here as well. 8 times 2x is 16x. 8 times 8 is 64. And then just copy the rest of the problem. Um, now let's combine over here on the right side. I have some like terms. I'll just copy this first part. 10x plus 20 equals 16x plus and then 64 plus 22 is 86. Um, I think I'm going to subtract 10x from both sides. I like to keep my x terms positive. So they'll go away on the left side and I have 20 equals 16x subtract 10x is 6x, and then copy, and subtract 86 from both sides. This will go away, and I have a negative 66 on the left is equal to 6x. Divide both sides by 6, this cancels, and I have x is equal to a negative 11. All right, now I need to find the integers. So I know that x is negative 11, and that'll be my first integer. So negative 11 is my first one. If I add 2 to that to get my second integer, negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9. Add 2 more to get my third integer, that'll give me a negative 7. And then add 2 more to get my fourth integer, that'll be a negative 5. So these are my consecutive odd integers, um, and it didn't say anything about them having to be positive or anything, so uh, consecutive odd integers, and there they are.